If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. For today's daily Blender tip, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can begin creating your own material library by using an add-on. So the first thing you need to do is you need to come up to edit and then preferences and then locate your add-on in the add-ons tab. We're going to click here and we're going to type in material and you should get two options at least. So material library and material utilities. You can use both of them, of course, but the one we're focusing on is material library. Material utilities, by the way, allows you to bring up a special menu in the 3D viewport itself, but that is a separate add-on. So we're going to focus on material library. Make sure that this option is ticked and then close. Now we're going to add a material to our cube. So let's add a material. And because it's our default cube, we already have one. But let's just change the name. So let's change it to test. And let's say I wanted to create a gold material. We're going to create a very, very basic gold material by adjusting the color and then adjusting the metallic value. So setting the metallic value up to one and let's lower the roughness to about 0 0.08. If we take a look at this in rendered view, it doesn't appear that great at the moment, but that's because of the lighting setup that we have. Let's try material viewport shading. There we go. That looks pretty good. So say if you had created your material, you want to save it in a material library so that you can use it straight away in other projects without having to import the file. Well, now that we have enabled the material libraries add on, if we scroll down from this exact tab where we created the material, you will come up to an option that says material library VX. Open that up. And then we have a series of options here. Let's just bring out the properties panel so that we can see it a bit better. Now you can actually go to these already existing template libraries. So we've got templates and it does take a little bit of time to load these libraries up because you're downloading multiple textures and materials. You should also have sample materials. So a variety of options here as well that you can easily add. And the simple materials, that's just a library that I have previously added myself. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a new library for this because this is our own material that we have created. So left click and then give your library a name. So say if I wanted to have a library for my metals, I can just type in metals and select OK. Then click add to library to add it to my library. Oh, you'll see that we have to save the file before we export it. So let's just do that now very quickly doesn't really matter where you save. So let's name this as test material and then click save as. And then let's select add to library. You should see it now pops up in our new library. Now you will already have or should already see two materials added automatically to your new library. 
But what's most important is the fact that we have been able to add our test material to this metals library. So let's try adding this test material from here to another object. I'm going to just hide my cube for now, then add in a Suzanne. We have to click new to create a new material slot first on our object, then scroll down to the material library VX. And here we have our three options in our metals library. So with test selected, we can apply this to our selected object. Left click and the material is applied with a single click. Now, because this is the same project, you might think, well, we could just do the same thing by coming to this option here and then selecting the material. However, where this gets really useful is when you open up a separate project. So here we have a different cube. Let's replace this with a UV sphere, for example. Go material properties and select new. Then come down to our material library VX. Change our library from simple materials to metals. And then select test and apply to selected. Doesn't look like anything's happened yet. Well, if we go to our viewport shading, you will see that our material has been applied to our object, even though it was created in a separate file. 